Yo, what's up, sports bettors? I'm gonna be taking you through three player props I'm on on Underdog Fantasy, so let's just kind of get into it. My first play is right here. It's in the WNBA. So WNBA, sports books tend to watch their lines a lot less you know, closely than let's say the NBA, a major sport. So there's actually some pretty great betting opportunities in the WNBA. So if you take a look at Parker, her assist line is at four and a half. There's not a ton of sports books that have WNBA player prop odds in the lines. So underdog fantasy is at four and a half. Parlay plays at four, and then FanDuel Sportsbook is at three and a half. So what that tells us as data-driven, right, sharp sports bettors is underdog fantasy, they have their line too high. Because all these sports books, they all want to set lines independently, sometimes their models get out of sync, and that leads to profitable betting opportunities, right? So it's pretty clear here. There's not a ton of data points, not a ton of books, again, with WNBA player prop odds, but a good value bet is Candace Parker under four and a half assists. So I say it all the time, you know, I never bet with my gut. That's what nearly all sports bettors do. And that's why the sports books are in business, right? Is because most people bet with their gut and they can't beat the books long term. Maybe there's some people who can power to them, but the way to consistently make money sports betting and the way you know you're going to make money sports betting is by finding inefficiencies, value in the market, just like Candace Parker under four and a half assists. So that's the first bet I locked in. Along a similar vein, I'm on um, Boston, Aliyah Boston under nine rebounds. So take a look at the sports books, prize picks. They all have her line at eight and a half. So once again, underdog fantasies too high, value on the under, another great betting opportunity in the WNBA. So those first two plays, the WNBA bets, were found on the Odds Jam Sportsbook screen. And I really like this tool because, you know, any market you want to look at, MLB, any sport you want to look at, it just shows you the data right? So it shows you line movements. It shows you where every sports book is setting the lines, setting their odds. And then you can hunt through and look for value in the market, right? There's no BS. It's kind of like having your own Bloomberg terminal. But anyways, I have some other plays on underdog fantasy. So I'll go through how I found that play. But I wanted to know as well, you know, I also place bets on other sports books. This video is about underdog fantasy, but I just locked in a bet on Fliff from the Odds Jam Positive EV tool. So this is a very popular tool, but it but it works better for sports books, right? Underdog fantasy fantasy is technically a fantasy sports website, which we'll explain in a second. But essentially what the positive EV tool is it just points out major discrepancies in where sports books are setting the odds. So you can see in the Angels Rockies game, you can get the first inning, you know, over half of a run at minus 165. All the other sports books have this around, you know, minus 200. Bet Online, a really sharp sports book, has this at minus 217. So Odds Jam is, you know, literally just like hunting through all these different player props, thousands of odds on each sports book to point out value in the market. But anyways, Underdog Fantasy, let's kind of get on to my final play which is from the Fantasy Optimizer. So the way this works, and it only works for fantasy websites like Underdog, is basically the way that Underdog works is any three-pick parlay you create. So if I replace this with another NFL pick, whatever, you're going to see any three-pick parlay, overs, unders, we're always getting a 6x payout for a three-pick parlay, right? Any three picks you select, you're getting a 6x payout on your parlay. So basically, if you back out, you know, go through the math behind underdog, what you're going to see is you have to win at least 55% of your player props on underdog to be profitable, right? That's kind of hard, right? You got to win, let's say 57% of your prop bets, only losing 43%. So just like Justin Herbert over under 30 and a half passing TDs, you got to be able to win these bets, you know. 57% of the time, 56% of the time, if you want to show a profit on underdog fantasy. So basically a tool I use is called the fantasy optimizer and it just points out all the bets, you know, it highlights them in green that are winning above 55% of the time. So you're going to see it's recommending and it's all based on sportsbook odds. It's recommending Chase Anderson under four strikeouts. So that's the final pick I went with on underdog fantasy. Nothing complicated, following the data as usual. So three picks on Underdog Fantasy I locked in for today. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Let's make some money.